Nancy, I've run out of ideas. Please be careful, okay? Nancy, have you searched the boiler room for a clue? Nancy, could the correct combination be in the boiler room? Maybe written on a wall or something. Nancy, could the correct combination be in the boiler room? Can you find the right level for the levers so the pressure will lower? There must be a poster down there that shows the right position of the levers so the pressure goes down. Well, the bolt cutters cut the chain. Can you move the levers on the boiler to change the dials so they match the poster with the gauges? Nancy, this sounds too dangerous. There must be another way to prop up that gas line instead of the bolt cutter. Could something take the place of the bolt cutters and hold up that gas line? Oh, this sounds dangerous, Nancy. You'll need to find something in the kitchen that will prop up the gas line so you can take the bolt cutters. Aunt Eloise just loves to hide things. Why not go to her house and take a look around? Aunt Eloise probably hid her login ID and password in the safe at home. I bet that box in Aunt Eloise's safe hides her login ID and password. Oh, Nancy, are you sure your aunt wouldn't mind you poking around with her school stuff? Can you use Aunt Eloise's login and password to access the school administration computers? I bet they're in the teacher's lounge. Can you use Aunt Eloise's login and password to access the school administration computers? This is such a puzzling situation. Aunt Eloise must have some important items in the safe. That box in Aunt Eloise's safe must hold an important clue. Those letters on your aunt's safe are definitely Greek letters. Those letters on your aunt's safe are definitely Greek letters. I bet there's a note somewhere in the house that also has Greek letters. Those letters on your aunt's safe are definitely Greek letters. I bet the combination is related to the Greek letters on that note from her college sorority. Oh, I'm sure your Aunt Eloise will be helpful. She just loves to hide things. How is your Aunt Eloise? Her house is so beautiful. She just loves to hide things. Oh, I'm sure your Aunt Eloise will be helpful. You wouldn't want to waste your time with any of the guys at this school. They're pretty lame. Bye, Nancy. Someone found a dead body at school this morning. Later, Nancy. I'm out of here, Nancy. See ya. I can't do it. I have too much to lose right now. This is starting to get really intense. I don't want to get involved, even if it means I would get the chance to help Daryl. This is so hard for me. I've been wanting Daryl to notice me since I was a freshman. But I've come too far to mess up my chances of getting into college. Jake treated me really badly, but I'd never kill him. Do you think I would give up everything I've worked for and do a stupid thing like that? Oh, yeah. Daryl's one of the coolest guys at school. I heard it was Daryl Gray, Paseo de Omar's hot student council president. Don't worry. Once this whole thing blows over, it'll be back to the same old routine. Daryl's family was rich and used to throw major parties all the time. But not anymore. If he doesn't get a scholarship, He'll have to go back to Japan. That would be a total disgrace for his family. Hal is maxing out on course hours this year. He needs to prove himself if he's going to get a scholarship. Not very well. He's an exchange student from Japan and a total workaholic. If I get involved, the truth about the tournament would be exposed. I'll never go to college if that happens. I, I wish I could, Nancy. I can't take that kind of risk right now. Not with college, just around the corner. My only crime was to lie to get into the tournament. I despise Jake, but I'd never think of killing him. There's too much at stake for me right now. I wish I could do more, but I can't. Hey, Nancy, need something? We girls have to stick together. There are a lot of wolves walking around campus. You can turn me in if you want to. I'm telling the truth. I didn't kill Jake. Are you crazy? Of course not. I didn't kill Jake. Hey, I'll do whatever it takes to reach my goal. Now I'm going to be the first one in my family to go to college. The prize money is a lot better in the men's division. It was enough to cover the tuition for college next year. Yes, Nancy. I'm the mysterious winner of the men's tournament. It wasn't easy for me, and I'm proud of what I did. He was cruel. He liked to humiliate me in public and told everyone I was his black belt babe. Okay, okay. Jake was blackmailing me. Why else would I have gone up with that slime ball? No. Why are you so interested in Jake anyway? What a coincidence. 
funny. I never noticed. There are a ton of police on campus today. It's wild. Why are you asking so many questions, Nancy? You're not working for the police, are you? Why would I know his combination? I went on one date with the guy and told myself I'd never do it again. Why would I have known the combination of that jerk's locker? I wish I knew him better. He's the only guy I'd ever consider dating. He's student council president, holds a cool job at a diner called Maxine, and drives a Porsche 911. He told me he's trying to get a scholarship for college. Lately, he's looking really burnt out. I think the pressure is getting to him. What a dork! Hulk Sanchez doesn't know the first thing about my life. He needs to get a life and stop talking about mine. He's a big jock on campus. Never dated him or anything. What's up, Nancy? What is it you want now? Nancy, I'm starting to wonder about you. It's a small school. Nothing ever happens here. A new student is big news. Why all the questions? What's going on with you, Nancy? Jake was rude, self-centered, dishonest, and greedy. Hey, a girl can make a mistake, can't she? I avoided him whenever I could. I heard his face was all messed up, like he was in a fight. He was always getting into fights. That's true, but I guarantee there won't be a crowd at Jake's funeral. Jake Rogers brought it on himself. I gotta go now. Later. Usually Paseo del Mar High is really quiet and boring. Today, it's totally out of control. Jake Rogers was a total creep. Nobody liked him. Jake Rogers. Take it from me, he was a total sleaze. If you're referring to Jake, please don't insult me. No girl in her right mind would ever think of going out with him. There are a few who are cool. Jake Rogers was not one of them. I think he was pushed down a flight of stairs or something. Oh, just this wannabe stud named Jake Rogers. Don't make me laugh. Just because I'm a girl doesn't mean I can't handle myself. Jake finally met his match. Hey, Jake's luck ran out. That's all. Life goes on. Jake's dead. There's nothing I can do about it now. Hi, I'm Connie. You're not from around here, are you? You seem different from the other girls. I think I'm going to enjoy being your contact. I care about you, Nancy, and wish you weren't involved in this mess. But if you insist, I'll help you catch Mitch. Well, the police thought it was a prank at first, because it didn't look like anything had been taken. Then the pharmacist found one particular drug missing. I think it was a steroid or something. <laughs> You're kidding, right? The only physical thing Jake did was to think up new ways to get other people to do his work for him. Jake wasn't really what you'd call a scholar. I don't know why you'd have that book. Say hello to your number one contact, Miss Drew. I'm a man of many talents. Whoever, or whatever you want. I'm the one for you. Politics run in the family. My father was a Florida state senator. Now how could you resist voting for me? At your service. See you, beautiful. Later, detective. Bye, Nancy. Take care, detective. Mitch is totally capable of it. I guess he decided he could get more money out of Mitch. That was a big mistake. Mitch was in a different league than Jake. All I know is one day Jake stuck a videotape in my face and told me he had enough to put me away unless I paid him off. I had no choice but to cooperate. I don't know, but Jake was always getting into someone's business. Maybe he overheard a conversation between me and Mitch. I flip burgers here at Maxine's. Of course, that's when I'm not making groundbreaking decisions as student council president. Not sure. I guess he was shooting a documentary because I never saw him with a script or any actors. I have to deliver more food to the pharmaceutical plant later. We can try and grab Mitch when I give him the package tonight. I care about you, Nancy, and wish you weren't involved in this mess. But if you insist, I'll help you catch Mitch. Actually, I wish you could just forget this whole thing ever happened. But since you can't do that, I'd like to help, if it's not too late. Because I like you, Nancy. You're in extreme danger. If Mitch Dillon finds out about you, He'll try to kill you, too. But then Mitch threatened me. I needed the cash for school next year. So I went for it. All I had to do was pick up a package at the pharmaceutical company. I didn't know what I was getting into. This guy, Mitch Dillon, offered me a way to make some fast money. <laughs> Definitely. You're amazing. You've got a mysterious quality I find very intriguing. Uh, Connie could have done it. But judo is mostly about holds and throws not beating someone's face in. If anyone got in the way of Hulk and his college football career, I think Hulk would go seriously ballistic. Yeah, it's right here. It must have something to do with the case. It was weird. I've never seen him before. He just handed me the note and took off. You know, until they break down and tell you the truth. You've got to wear them down, sweetheart. Don't let up with your questions. A former student donated some high-tech video equipment to the club. 
Jake was filming his own project. I feel sorry for him because he's missing out on all the fun of high school. He needs to seriously chill. I'm not sure. She's very private about what she does after school. Hulk's dream is to become a great college football star and then play for the Miami Dolphins. He lives and breathes football. How can I help my number one detective? Paseo Del Mar's high school football team. They're number one this year, all because of Hulk. He's their star. Nancy, you have no idea what kind of danger you're in right now. Mitch Dillon has nothing to lose at this point. Do yourself a favor and go to the cops. You got me there, detective. But it didn't have to be like this. I wish we had met under different circumstances. But be careful, Nancy. You're in this pretty deep. Things are starting to heat up. If you only had something more solid, I know the police would take you more seriously. Then again, Hal keeps to himself. No one really knows him well. It's strange. Connie and Hal seem like the last students at Paseo Del Mar who'd have had anything to do with Jake's murder. Connie seems more together than that. I guess if she were fighting for her life, she could have done it. I say Sanchez is your prime suspect. He's the one with the temper and the iron fist. Hal is such a mild-mannered guy. I don't have a clue what Jake would be blackmailing him for. Hey, I'm there for you, sweetheart. I don't care what happens to me. I just want to help. My guess is Hulk's the one who had the muscle to take on Jake. It could never have been Connie. Look for some incriminating evidence or just wait for one of them to squeal. Hmm. The police said Jake's face was bruised. Hulk had the strength, but I don't think the dude would have risked his football career for anything. Oh yeah, Nancy, I just remembered. Some guy dropped off this note for you. I think it's important. In my humble opinion, you either hand the case over to the police or keep pressuring each of them until somebody cracks. Well, Jake was a member of the film club. He was always messing around with video equipment. Maybe try something close to home, like his birthday or his address. Sorry, can't help you on that one. I'm good, but not that good. He's an exchange student who's all study, no play. And he's obsessed with getting a college scholarship. Poor guy. Well, for one thing, his name isn't really Hal. He uses Hal because his Japanese name is way hard to pronounce. Okay, detective, you got me. Now are you going to turn me over to the cops? I've seen her around, but we've never had a class together. I don't think she's ever been to Maxine's. Well, I know the guy can scarf down half a dozen burgers at a time. He's the best linebacker ever to play for the Manatees. He also told me he's really psyched to play college ball next year. If I were Ned, I'd be worried about leaving an attractive girl like you alone with a murderer on the loose. It looked like it to me. One of the police officers said Jake either fell down the stairs on his face or someone beat him up first. Nancy, I hate to leave such a beautiful detective, but I've got a hot grill waiting for me. See you later, okay? He wasn't exactly a friend. He came by the diner a few times. Yeah, the men in blue are everywhere. The whole town is freaking out. It's a small town. Maxine's is the place for gossip. That's why the police made it their first stop when they arrived. Maxine is the owner. She's still around, adding her special charm to the place. Maxine's is only the best diner in the entire southeastern United States, thank you very much. I'm Daryl Gray, Renaissance man, short order cook, student council president, and professional escort to pretty new students. I'm all yours, Nancy. What's on your mind? That's cool. I always like to check out my options. <laughs> Isn't Ned worried about you? You name it. Absolutely, detective. I'll do anything you want. It's right down the hall from where Jake was killed. A student named Jake Rogers. When I found him, it looked like someone had pushed him face first down a flight of stairs. It was nasty. Burgers are just the tip of the iceberg. I'll make whatever you like. I aim to please. Only the best burgers in town. Check it out. Since the police arrived, they've had every meal here. I'm convinced that's why the police chose me to be your contact. I'm at the center of everything. Sweetheart, you don't get it. Maxine's is the ultimate hangout. I'm here to help. If the police trust me, so can you. You look like you're going to make an excellent addition to Paseo Del Mar High School student body. You're surrounded. It's all over for you. I'm going to shut you up so you won't live to tell about oh, it. Yes. You're finished, Drew. Okay, Gray, hand it over. No, I found out the truth, Mitch. You're Jake's murderer. You got nothing on me. You better watch what you say, boy. You're on your own. I bet the school basement is full of clues. Be careful, Nancy. I have a bad feeling about that old boiler. I bet the school basement is full of clues. There must be other places around the school to investigate. Have you checked all over? There must be other places to investigate around the school. 
Have you checked the basement? Have you checked the school basement? You should find the maintenance door and take a look down there. Your Aunt Eloise is head librarian. Have her open up the school library. I bet an extra key to the library is hidden in Aunt Eloise's house. Go check the walls. Maybe there's a secret compartment. I bet an extra key to the library is hidden in Aunt Eloise's house. I'm stumped, Nancy. I'm afraid I'm not very much help. If I were the boiler room supervisor, I would keep the combination on something close by. I would look around the boiler room for the combination. It's a smart place to start. I would check out the numbers on that stone that tells us when the school was built. The maintenance door lock is definitely in Braille, but I bet the password isn't. The maintenance door lock uses Braille. You can probably find a password on the school computer. That maintenance door lock is definitely in Braille. I'd look in the school computer for a password. You found the password. Now you'll have to translate it into Braille. You found the password. Now you'll have to translate it into Braille at the library. You found the password. The encyclopedias in the school library can help you to translate the maintenance door's password into Braille. There must be some place to go where you can find out lots of information. Why don't you head for the library? You might find some interesting information there. Why not go to the school library and look around? There's always so much to learn there. Get down on your knees and bark like a dog. You are a very open person. You like adventure and care about people. I'm a Japanese exchange student. Hal Tanaka. Actually, my first name is much longer than that. But I want to fit in here in America, so I chose Hal as my nickname. Farewell, Nancy. I must go now, Nancy. A murder was committed here last night. Everyone is very stressed out. See you later, Nancy. Goodbye, Nancy. When I delivered Jake's homework to him the other day, he mentioned being late for a meeting with Daryl Gray. It was very strange. I didn't know they were friends. I regret what I have done. Please let me have this chance to become a doctor. I promise to make up for this mistake, even if it takes the rest of my life. Please don't tell anyone about this. I beg you. You will gain nothing if you do, and it would destroy my family if they knew what really happened. I was not happy about the situation, but I would never kill anyone. I value human life. What else could I do? My family was depending on me to succeed. Jake demanded I do all his homework for the rest of the semester, or he would tell my family everything. I had to take extra courses to earn the scholarship. Before I realized what I had done, I was buried in work. I copied the essay because I was desperate. I had no other choice. My family won't let me stay in the United States unless I get a scholarship next year. I study every face I see. To me, the face reveals a lot about the person. Yes. Daryl's father is former U.S. Senator, Eugene Gray. I hear he was a great politician, but not a very good businessman. I think his company went bankrupt a few years ago. I worry that his chances of playing for a top school are not as good as before his injury. Hulk got hurt a few weeks ago. Ever since that game, he hasn't played the same. My future is at stake. I have to make the grades or my family won't continue to pay for my education. I must go now. Somehow, Jake found out I copied that old essay. Then he blackmailed me into doing his homework for him. Yes, Nancy. I'm very ashamed. My family will be extremely unhappy about this terrible mistake I have made. I didn't know Jake was interested in video. I avoided him whenever I could. Hmm. I remember one day, Jake was mad because he couldn't open his locker. He told me he wished I had a phone handy. Will that help? I'm sorry, Nancy. I can't help you with that. Daryl found Jake's body this morning. He's very popular and a good politician, too. Just like his father. Hi, Nancy. I can handle my studies. Connie doesn't know my study habits. Yes, we've been in a few classes together. I think she was dating Jake Rogers. He's also a candidate for a big university, even with his injury. Heard of him? Hulk holds the conference record for quarterback sacks. He's been the state's number one player since he was a freshman. Yes. Unlike Jake Rogers, who was an Ijimeko. In English, you would say a bully. Sometimes, I feel lonely and far away from my family. And Jake was someone who never made me feel welcome here. Most of the students were cool when I first arrived. But there were a few, like Jake Rogers, who weren't as friendly towards me. In Japan, it's very important that you do something your family can take pride in. I have made some mistakes. 
But I tried to be a decent person. Jake Rogers tried to take the easy way out. And look where that led him. Nancy, I'm sorry, but I can't talk to you any longer. In my family, it's very important to succeed. I believe hard work will get me into a good university. Not really, only by reputation. I feel uncomfortable speaking about this now. Please, excuse me. I want to help people who are sick. I also want to do well and make my family proud. Yes, they sent me here to study medicine. I admire the freedom here. If you work hard enough, you can achieve anything. They're such open people. My family is counting on me to succeed here. I must make them proud of me. I heard Jake Rogers was pushed down a flight of stairs. Jake Rogers, a student here at Paseo Del Mar High. It's really intense. Oh, it's you, Nancy. I'm really embarrassed to see you again. I'm behind in my studies and I must get back to the library. Bye, Nancy. Jake was an Iji Meko. In English, you would say a bully. He wasn't very popular. Jake wasn't a happy person and made others around him very unhappy too. I don't have to be a psychic to see you are a good person. Maybe, but my plan is to become a doctor. I want to be part of the culture and succeed in this country. Yes, a murder was committed here last night. It's frightening. Also, I think the murder has caused a lot of tension at school. I'm studying really hard for exams now. My future as a doctor depends on the outcome of these tests. Oh yeah, Jake Rogers was a dark soul. He created a lot of trouble. A new face. Hi, my name's Hal. You sure arrived on a day with a lot of activity. I leave the others in the dirt, man. Soon it's college ball, and then the Miami Dolphins. Showtime! You are new around here. I play for the Manatees, one of the best teams in the state. Hey, you're talking to the man, the number one football player in the state of Florida. I know all the beautiful girls at Paseo Del Mar High. Are you kidding? Later, sweetheart. How's it going? Bye, Nancy. I'll catch you later, beautiful. I'm out of here. I'm not a killer, Nancy. I didn't do it. The last thing Jake had me do was deliver a note to Daryl Gray. It was in a sealed envelope, so I couldn't read it. My bet is Jake was blackmailing Daryl, too. And then I started taking steroids wasn't worth it because I was still in pain and all my free time was spent playing errand boy for Jake. I had to keep playing even though I was hurt. Needed to impress the scouts. I got hurt really bad in a game a few weeks back. Broke four ribs and cracked two others. You name it. Chauffeur, errand boy, bodyguard. He loved ordering me around like I was his slave. Now that I think of it, last time I saw them together, Hal seemed pretty upset. Hey, I'm with you, but I can't get involved. There's no way I'm risking my football career. Let's just say I saw them talking together a lot. Jake's locker was right next to Hal's. Tanaka never missed a game. That is, until he started hanging out with Jake. Hmm. Not exactly sure. I heard she's been having a cash flow problem. I don't know. She's a pretty good athlete, but never joined any of Paseo Del Mar's teams. Sorry, babe. I can't risk getting involved. Yeah, he found out I stole the steroids and threatened to turn me over to the cops. Would have meant the end of my football career if I didn't cooperate. Why would I know about a robbery? All I know about is football. I didn't pay much attention to Jake. I'm tired of talking about that loser. I could tear the door off with my teeth, but it might be easier to just ask Hal Tanaka. His locker was right next to Jake's. I've told you what I know. Listen, my body's my temple. I can't risk it for anyone. He seems like a cool guy. His family used to sponsor the annual football awards dinner until last year. You know, he's the one who found Jake's body. I'm as strong as ever. Where'd you hear that? That dude is always studying. He's a huge fan of mine. Real smart guy. But I never understood why a brain like Tanaka would hang out with slime like Jake Rogers. She hangs out at the gym a lot. I heard she's been having a real tough time. You have to be aggressive if you want to win. That's why I'm the best. My only enemies are on the field. Off the field, I'm a pussycat. Why should it? I have a big future ahead of me. That's all that concerns me. Jake Rogers was a loser. No one liked the dude. Even if he'd lived, he was headed for trouble. I'm not into pushy girls. Do me a favor. Bother someone else. I'm sorry Jake's dead, but I can't waste my time worrying about it. I like winning if that's what you mean. I do my job out there on the field. My opponents are supposed to fear me. You have to be aggressive to survive in this world. Jake just couldn't cut it. That's all. Me? When I walk down the halls, it's punks like Jake Rogers who fear me. I'm afraid you're asking too many questions. What's it to you? Football! I'm destined to become a college star and then turn pro. Then, when I'm famous, jerks like Jake Rogers will eat my socks for breakfast. There's no way I'm not going to play college ball. Unlike Jake Rogers, 
I'm a winner. Somebody killed Jake Rogers. Listen, sweetheart, to be the best, you gotta be aggressive and show them who's boss. Like the guy who killed Jake. Hulk, is there anything you fear? I've been trying to get the coach to change that lame mascot ever since I first made the team. Back off, Nancy. Hulk, how did you know I was new here? <laughs> You're not from Florida, are you? There's nothing to be afraid of. Manatees are the friendliest underwater sea cows around. Yeah, just sneeze and it'll swim away. Seriously, the manatees are a great team at a great school. Everyone is cool. Except for a few punks like Jake Rogers. Sorry, can't talk now. I gotta go to practice. Later. I knew Jake, but I didn't hang out with him. Yeah, I'm playing great football this year. I'm expecting an offer from a Big Ten school any day now. Is there anything else I can enlighten you on? Haven't you been reading the papers? Paseo Del Mar High School has been Florida's number one football team for the last four years. Paseo Del Mar's mascot is a manatee. Don't tell me you're afraid of a little Seco. Everybody knows Hulk Sanchez and the Hulk knows everybody. Isn't it obvious? I'm tall, dark, handsome. Not to mention a superstar athlete. Whoa, a new girl at school. Do you realize what destiny has brought you today? Yours truly, Hector Hulk Sanchez. Hulk, we're going to find the person who killed Jake. If you help out now, this case will move a lot quicker. Jake knew you broke into the drug depot. He was blackmailing you, wasn't he? Tell me about the robbery at the drug depot pharmacy. Do you know why Jake had a video camera in his locker? How could I get into Jake's locker? What can you tell me about Daryl Gray? I'm really sorry you got injured. Does that affect your chances of playing college ball? Do you know Hal Tanaka? What can you tell me about Connie Watson? Hal, we're going to find the person who killed Jake. If you help out now, this case will move a lot quicker. Jake knew you copied your essay from that book of English essays, didn't he? Do you know why Jake had a video camera in his locker? Hulk said your locker was right next to Jake's. Are you sure you don't know the combination? Do you know the combination to Jake Rogers' locker? Well, what can you tell me about Daryl Gray? Connie told me you study too hard. Is that true? Do you know Connie Watson? Have you heard of Hulk Sanchez? Jake was pressuring both Hal and Hulk. It could have been either of them. Uh, this is really complicated. Looks like Jake had a hold on both Hulk and Connie. What now? I think Jake had some sensitive information on Hulk Sanchez. Do you think Hulk could have killed Jake? Hal, Hulk, and Connie were all involved with Jake in some way. He had information that could seriously jeopardize Hal's academic career. Connie once dated Jake, but now claims she despises him. There may be some connection between Jake's interest in judo and Connie's involvement with the Crane School of Defense. And Hulk seems awfully touchy about that break-in at the drug depot. Hal, Hulk, and Connie were all involved with Jake. He had information that could jeopardize Hal's career. Connie once dated Jake, and Hulk seems awfully touchy about that break-in at the drug depot. Do you know why Jake had a video camera in his locker? Daryl, do you know where I could get Jake Rogers' locker combination? What can you tell me about Hal Tanaka? Do you know Connie Watson? What do you know about the break-in at the pharmacy? Was Jake interested in judo? Why would Jake have an old English book in his locker? Daryl, we're going to find the person who killed Jake. If you help out now, the case will move a lot quicker. I saw Jake's tape, Daryl. I know he was blackmailing you. Hal, Connie, and Hulk didn't seem to like Jake very much. I think they all know something about Jake's death. I just don't know what. Hal had a reason to hate Jake, but it's hard to picture him as a murderer. Jake had some kind of hold on Connie and Hal. Is it possible that one of them could have resorted to murder? Connie lied about her dating Jake. Could something have happened between them that would push her to murder? How well do you know Hulk Sanchez? Connie, we're going to find the person who killed Jake. If you help out now, the case will move a lot quicker. Oh, Jake had something on you, didn't he? I know you're the unknown winner of that judo competition. Jake Rogers had it all on videotape. Do you know why Jake had a video camera in his locker? You're wearing a Japanese medallion with a symbol that means crane, 
and Crane is the name of the judo school on the poster in the gym. Do you know the combination to Jake Rogers' locker? How well do you know Daryl Gray? Do you know Hal Tanaka? Hulk told me money's been tight for you these days. Didn't I hear you were dating Jake? What do you know about Hulk Sanchez? And Daryl Gray, the student council president, found the body. When Aunt Eloise heard, she rushed me right over and introduced me to the principal. He asked if I would try to find out who did it and why. So it's undercover I go. My only contact is Daryl, so I'm off to solve a murder. I'm calling this case Secrets Can Kill. Love, Nancy. Dear Dad, who would have dreamed taking a semester off to visit Aunt Eloise in Florida would result in another case? Seems a student was murdered at the high school last night. Sounds like another case for Nancy Drew. Don't worry, I'll be careful. Love, Nancy. Today, Aunt Eloise got a letter from a friend. Something about a television station and death threats. Daryl's recovering just fine, and Connie's giving him private judo lessons. Hulk agreed to pay for the damages to the pharmacy, and Hal got his scholarship. Dear Dad, case closed, and Mitch is on his way to prison. Sounds like another case for Nancy Drew. And don't worry, I'll be careful. Love, Nancy. Today, Aunt Eloise got a letter from a friend. Something about a television station and death threats. Daryl's recovering just fine, and Connie's giving him private judo lessons. Hulk agreed to pay for the damages to the pharmacy, and Hal got his scholarship. Dear Dad, case closed, and Mitch is on his way to prison. Hmm, that medallion Connie is wearing is kanji for crane. I need something to make this work. How can I make this work? College ball? One of the best teams in the state? The Manatees? How do you know all the other girls at school? Who do you play for? Did you kill Jake? Did you kill him? Aaron boy? Why do you think she never joined any teams? Why did you steal the steroids? What did he want from you? How was a friend of Jake's? Fan? Hmm. Tough time? Why do you think she hangs out at the gym so much? How well did you know Jake Rogers? Are all football players as aggressive as you are, Hulk? Do you have any enemies? Does Jake Rogers' death concern you? Unlike Jake Rogers? Do you know why he was killed? Jake Rogers? Do you enjoy showing people who's boss? Now that's a pretty harsh way to talk about someone who was murdered. Hulk. Is there anything you fear? Are you sure there's nothing to be afraid of? Was Jake Rogers a punk? A Big Ten school? What will you major in? What will you do if you don't get an offer? Why are there so many police here today? I guess you'd have to be pretty tough to be number one. Well, uh, actually, I'm scared of them. Aren't they really dangerous? Of course not. I know what to do if I come across a manatee. Did you know the guy who was killed? Very good. How could you know all that about me? <laughs> wow, not bad. You can make a living at that. Why do you think it's easier to have an American name? A murder? Stressed? Did you ever study the face of the guy who was killed? What does my face tell you? Were you desperate enough to kill him? What happened when Jake found out? Why did you copy the essay? Like his father. Injury? A bully? Well, how did Jake make you feel unwelcome? A decent person? Mistakes? What do you mean, the easy way? What reputation? Do you have any enemies? Why do you work so hard? Do you feel you fit in here? Proud of you? Succeed? Is that all you know about the murder? Did you know him? How? Activity? New face? How did Jake make people around him unhappy? Why do you admire Americans? Well, do you plan on staying in America after you finish high school? Well, do you know what happened? Wow. Well, who was murdered? A doctor? Oh, your family must be very proud. What kind of trouble? Dark soul? This essay looks exactly like the one in Jake's locker. Hal's English paper is the same as this essay. Diana Ball is a steroid and was one of the drugs stolen from the drug depot. Hmm. According to that magazine article in the library, Diana Ball is a steroid. Daryl, you should know I'm involved with someone. I've been seeing him for a while. His name is Ned. Hmm. Whatever I want? Could you help me find Jake Rogers' locker? Well, who was murdered? Student council president? Flip burgers? A diner? Mitch killed Jake, didn't he? Did Mitch kill Jake? <laughs> Mysterious. So you were a drug runner? Oh, Daryl. But how did Jake find out? How did Jake find out? Any idea what Jake's film project was about? We need to get more evidence on Mitch Dillon. 
If only we can get him to confess his involvement with Jake's murder somehow. Why do you wish we had met under different circumstances? Did Mitch also leave that note for me? Do you really want me to go to the police? What were you selling? Drugs? Trade secrets? Why are you so sure Connie didn't do it? She's an athlete too. What would make Hulk that mad? A note? What guy? Cracks? Pressure the suspects? Film club? What's wrong with wanting a college scholarship? Professional escort? Short order cook? Why do you think she's never been to the diner? College football? Manatees? And do you really think so? Worried? Yeah, just sneeze and it'll swim away. Seriously, the manatees are a great team at a great school. Everyone is cool. Except for a few punks like Jake Rogers. Face first? Tell me about Jake. Police? Everything? Maxine's? Tell me more. I think you can help me. Talk to you later. Bye. See you later. Goodbye. So now there's one less wolf to avoid. Are all the guys lame? Who found the body? What happened? Who was killed? Doesn't it concern you the murderer is still out there roaming the halls? Are you forgetting one of your classmates was just murdered this morning? Daryl's in big trouble with the police. If he helps catch Jake's killer, the police might go easier on him. Daryl's life is in danger. He really needs your help. Student council president? Aren't you even concerned about the murder? What do you mean? If you cooperated, you'd be helping out Daryl Gray. Why all the police? Whoever pushed Jake down the stairs also beat him up. Someone with a black belt could have done it. Jake was threatening to expose you, get the prize money revoked, maybe even make you lose your black belt. <laughs> Those are a few solid motives for murder. Whatever it takes, even murder? Why did you enter a men's tournament when you could have easily won the women's division? You hated Jake enough to kill him, didn't you? Could you have hated Jake enough to kill him? Is there a connection between the judo tournament and the fact Jake was blackmailing you? Jake was blackmailing you, wasn't he? Huh. For a small school, there's a lot of activity. I can't believe you even noticed me with all the excitement on campus today. Drives a Porsche and works at a diner? <laughs> that doesn't compute. What pressure? Out of control? What kind of guy was Jake? <laughs> Is it that obvious? What made him such a sleaze? Didn't I hear you were dating Jake? Why didn't girls like Jake? I take it Jake wasn't very popular. What makes you think he was pushed and didn't just fall? What do you mean? What do you mean his match? Life goes on for everyone but the victim. Is there more to Jake's murder than just bad luck? Why so casual about Jake's death? Jake? Ouch, that's hot. That's too hot. If you didn't kill Jake, do you have any idea who did? Hello? Hi, Ned. I'm in a jam. Do you think you can help me out? Thane residence. George, this is Nancy. Can you give me some advice? This is Bess. Bess, I need some help. Any ideas? I think the levers might control the boiler. I think the first boiler lever controls whether the second and third lever can move. I think the level of each lever may have something to do with reducing the boiler pressure and temperature. Nancy, I don't know how else to help. Just be careful, okay? Try your Aunt Eloise's name to log on to the school computer. She must keep her password and login at home somewhere. Nancy, perhaps you can use your Aunt Eloise's login and password to access the school computer. She's probably hidden it somewhere at home in a safe place. Nancy. Perhaps you can use your Aunt Eloise's login and password to access the school computer. Doesn't she keep the password in her safe at home? I can't believe you broke into the teacher's lounge. I'm sure you'll find some very important information there. There must be clues in the teacher's lounge somewhere. Search around the desk. There must be a computer in the teacher's lounge. Can you access it? That Jake Rogers was sneaky. He probably used that glass cutter in his locker to break into the school. Use the glass cutter you found by the locker to open up a window, like outside the school. Nancy, be careful. I was afraid that Jake's locker was booby-trapped. Search that locker. There's bound to be something useful there. Are you sure nothing fell out of Jake's locker and onto the floor? On my locker, my combination is related to my name. To open the victim's locker, I'd think of how letters and numbers could be related. Nancy, to open the victim's locker, I'd think of a way to make the owner's name into numbers, like maybe on a phone. 
Nancy, put on your detective's cap and begin at the beginning. I definitely searched the crime scene for clues. Try to find the victim's locker. It may hold some clues. We're sorry. Your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number and dial again. This is a recording. Hey, this is Tony's Pizza. Leave your message. Don't say Purple Moon around her interactive. <laughs> you have reached the Crane School of Defense. For more information on our programs, please see our advertisements in the Paseo Times and Judo Today magazine. Hi, this is Jake's Locker. This is Detective Dabromsky. Nancy, quit playing with that phone and get back to work. You've got a murder to solve. Hello, you have reached Vandalay Pharmaceuticals Drug Depot. Due to unforeseen depletions of our drug supplies, we are temporarily closed. This is Maxine's. Hi, I'm Maxine. Come on down for the best burgers in town. Woo! Daryl, you stop that. Hmm, the, the red light is being blinking, but mm, I, I suppose I should read the menu. I, I, I can't figure out. Hmm, I, I, I'm quite, I, it's blinking, but I, I, oh, I don't know.